uh, super runny. So they both have challenges, but they're kind of opposite ends of the spectrum type of challenges. Hopefully that answers the question. Can you make clear glass dichroic with a certain powder? Um, I'm not exactly sure. I wish I could answer that for you. I'm going to have to find out a little bit more about dichroic glass to answer that question. But my guess is um, you probably can't. We're not using dichroic glass for this piece. Any more questions? Okay. Anyone in the amphitheater with questions? Anybody? So there's, uh, there's the other torch. It's got a distinctively different sound. Uh, this one doesn't have the oxygen propelling it, so it's not quite as hot. That torch gets to about 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. But that's the one where we just kind of spun, we put a little bit of heat in the backside that doesn't get as much heat uh, from the reheater. You know, we use that to just fill out the heat on the, the stuff that doesn't get as much uh, attention with the heat in that furnace. So it's a way to just balance out the temperature. The iron of that blowpipe, the steel of the blowpipe, is always pulling the heat. It's a heat sink, so it pulls the heat, draws it out of the glass. So you have to be careful, um, you know, if that the glass that's attached to the blowpipe, if it gets too cold, it'll start breaking apart, and the piece will be in danger of falling off the iron. So that's why Martin was using that torch on that back end, heating up some of the, the end of that pipe. Oh, that's tough. What world is that, man? Why is it? That one was tough, man. I was sweating. <clears throat> you got any PKs? Yeah, we're trying to rebuild, man. It's just we always uh, give away money for it. Oh my gosh, at 1.5 mil. Parchment money, double parchment, 